It seems like these trending TikTok edits are only done in After Effects, but today we are going to do all that in Filmora. Now the important fact to note right here is that we are being controlled by the audio, by the beats, all right? And actually there are specific audios used for this trend, so you can't just use any audio. And now we are going to use this one, which is one of the most popular songs to be used on Skull Trending Edit. So just like every trending edit, the first thing is to take down the audio, right select your audio, and then use this option right here to go to beat detection. And this is going to mark the beats on this audio automatically for us. Now you can feel free to adjust the markers, and this definitely depends on the specific audio that you are using on your edit. Like in this case right here, I can adjust the markers and customize them to make the whole process easy. So on the first markers, I will leave it on default color, and this is where the first clip starts. And of course on the next beat, I change the color of the marker to a different color, maybe this one, or any of your choice, just to show the difference between the two markers. So just as I've said, the first marker is where the clip starts, and the second marker, which is of different color, is where the skull, or the effect, starts showing up. And the process continues until the end of your edit. Now on the second marker where the effect is supposed to start, you're going to add a freeze frame to that particular clip. Then I repeat the process. So we have a clip playing and there is a freeze frame on the next beat. All right, and as you can see, we've done a lot already. So now let's do the effects part. Now you go to the effects tab right here, and then search for the shake effect. Actually, search for the effect called extreme, and then drag it where the freeze frame starts. And actually, we do not need a long of this effect, so we just need something like 12 frames, and this all depends on your project settings. In this case right here, I'm editing this project on 30 frames per second, so it all depends with the frame rate that you are using in that project. Now on the effects properties here, reduce the position X to 0, 0, and then the position Y to 1, and then add the keyframe. Now you can go to the last frame of the effect and then reduce the Y to zero. Now you drag it down on the track just above the previous effect and make sure that you extend the duration is twice as the previous effect, all right? And here on the effects properties, adjust the direction to 90 and the blur strength on 30. Then add a keyframe on the very first frame of the effect. Now on the last frame, reduce the blur strength to zero. And then again, you can play around the key graph here like this. And right here, we need a little more of a shaking effect, all right? So for that, I can just go to the effects and search for another effect called the gunshot, all right? And once you've dragged it down, just make sure that you adjust the duration to something like just the same as the previous effect, all right? Which means about 22 or 20 frames. And then on the effects properties, reduce the speed to zero, all right? And then now, let's go back again to the effects and right here. Search for pulse shake 03, all right? Sometimes this effect doesn't show up, but just make sure that you use the exact words Pulse Shake 03. Now you drag down this effect on the above track, and then make sure that you adjust the effect duration to cover the full duration of the freeze frame length, alright? 
Now you can go to the effect properties and adjust the strength to something like 20 or 22. All right, and at this extent, we need to add the color, all right? As you have noticed, there is a change of color right at this point of the effect, all right? So you go to the media editing presets and then drag down an adjustment layer, all right? And then you go to the effects and search for the movie zero one, all right? Drag down the effect right onto your adjustment layer and then on the effects properties. But now, still on the layer, go to the color tab. And then we need a few adjustments right there. Now, the thing is, we just want to make it a little bit undersaturated, all right? All right. Now for that, you need to create an empty track just above your clips track, all right? So you can do that by opening the track manager and then add a track above the track where your clips are, all right? And that is going to open a gap or an empty track right here. Or the easiest way, you can just select all these and then raise them up. Just make sure you don't move the frames. All right, so right here, we are going to drag our skull image onto this track. And then after that, you can just adjust your skull and put it on the position that you want it on. You can go to the Transform tab right here and then scroll down. You will see the shadow, the drop shadow option here. Turn it on and then just customize it a little bit to make sure that your skull is a shadow illusion a little bit. And as you can see right here, we have completed this. So you need to copy all these effects and then add them on all of your remaining clips. So just give me a second and I will do that. And now, let's render and see the full preview. There you go, my dear friend. That's exactly how you create a skull edit in Filmora. If you have enjoyed this video, please don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. And until I meet you in the next episode, right here on the screen, bye.